What's up climbing people? Welcome to YouTube's favorite underground climbing channel. I'm your host, Joshua Perry. So you've been climbing outside in the recent years, you may have ran into one of these. What's this? It's a drone. Now this is probably the best way to film a climbing climber right now, but it comes with some problems. It comes with some issues. You don't want this thing flying past your head while you're climbing. If you're outside trying to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, so there's a lot of noise pollution. So you're liable to piss everybody off at the crag. They don't want to hear a drone flying around when they're trying to get some peace. Another problem is there's a lot of regulations. You can't fly these things in national parks. They're illegal. And if you wanted to like upgrade, well, not even upgrade, but if you wanted to get some better video quality, you might have to get something like this. Can you imagine the noise of this puppy? <laughs> I mean, just the, just the size of the blade is twice the size of the drone. So uh, that in that case, you're gonna need a pilot's license, which I have, which is what I have to fly that thing. So it got me thinking there must be a better way for the average day person that doesn't wanna to have to go through all those hoops of getting a drone besides the price to entry. You talk about like a thousand, more over a thousand dollars to get one, one of the smaller ones at least. So what else can I do? So I figured, hey, let's go to the drawing board and I got the gears turning and Hey, why not do some experimenting today? So I'm reaching over and I'm grabbing my 360 camera today and a fishing pole. And we're gonna have a good old fashioned scientific experiment today. I'll bring you guys along. So <laughs> let's just head out and see, uh, see how this does, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so what's going on here is I'm gonna set up a uh, like a top rope solo almost system. And uh, the way I'm gonna be getting the rope up here, normally you'd be throwing a tagline over a tree to get in a tree. Fortunately, I don't know where my tagline is. So the way I'm gonna be climbing this isn't the standard safe practice way of doing some tree climbing. Don't do what I'm doing to climb a tree is basically what I'm saying. I'm climbing it wrong, I'm climbing like a wild squirrel. So I'm gonna climb up there, I'm gonna set up a system, uh, rig up a system for the camera real quick and then we're gonna see how that, that looks. Okay, so the rigging's done. I got my floating magic camera 5000. It's, it comes right back to me. Woo, look at that. Oh, it's magic. It's a flying camera. Okay, so uh, I'll probably film with, the, with my phone up there exactly how I rigged it, but it's just basically a sling with a beaner on it. I had a DMM rolling beaner, the ones with the little pulleys in it but then I found that the fishing line actually gets stuck in the crevice between the pulleys. So I just put a regular beaner, not, not that much friction on that thing. So my uh, cameraman is gonna 
be pulling uh, the fishing line up while I climb. Let's see how the video the video goes. Let's get started. Oh, it's already recording. All right, cool. All right, let's put it right here. Let's see how this goes. Now, it looks like there's a lot of wobble already. There, now it's a little steadier. So basically, wind is gonna be a big problem. All right, let's give it, let's give it a go. So I guess just try to pull it up nice and steady. Okay, because the, 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 steadier, the steadier you are, the steadier that will be, you know what I mean? Okay, let's test and make sure my everything, my whole system's working. Okay, so I'm good to go. So you could see if you can keep up. Now, this part was actually the scariest part because it's nothing to hold on to here. If I had a weight down below me, I wouldn't have to trim the line. Right on. I saw a hornet fly in this hole, like a big fat one. When I was first reaching up in here, I was super sketched because I thought uh, I thought a squirrel was gonna come bite me. Is the other camera still recording? Good. That's gonna get my audio. Look how look how much this thing is spinning now. <laughs> So I think, I think if, if, if this thing was going to work, we'd have, I think it will still be able to stabilize even with the spinning, but I think if it was going to work, you'd have to maybe have two lines in two separate spots so that it doesn't spin. But I guess this is a good, I guess this is a good uh, test. Come a little higher. It's also hard for you to figure out how high to keep it. All right, so that's that. I guess I could just take it all apart now. That's really spinning. Uh, swing it, I'll, I'll, I'll try to turn it off. Keep it over here. The smaller the file, the easier it is for me to edit. Okay, so what did you think about that, huh? As you can tell, this thing spun a whole lot. So there's a couple ways I can mitigate that. You can use a, either use a bigger line, maybe a climbing lot, a climbing rope would spin it less around than a fishing line. I thought the fishing line would be a, a lot smoother when reeling it in, except when I when I rigged it up, I had the fishing line. I pulled the fishing line up to me. Then I dropped it down to my cameraman and he assured me he was gonna catch it, but he didn't and the thing snapped. Ready? One, on three. One, two, three. Nice catch. <laughs> nice catch, buddy. <laughs> you suck. So he ended up just pulling it by hand. So I think using a climbing rope would definitely have it spin a lot less. Other than that, I could imagine having two lines coming down at an angle and then it coming up the middle might stop it from rotating. If the lines were too close together, then it would rotate anyway and just become a tangled mess where you wouldn't be able to go up or down. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> I've played with ropes for a long time. So every time you see that swipe going across the screen, that's the two lenses stitching the image together. So that's what that is. If you don't know, uh, if you didn't know, someone didn't know what you were filming with, I guess they think it's just a glitch. The quality's not too bad, but that's that. Um, I might play around with it some more. Maybe if you guys uh, like this and tell me to keep on playing around with it, I'll, I'll experiment some more. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll keep playing around with it, and uh, maybe bring it out to the cliff or something and give it some some more testing. I want to get all the kinks out before I drive a couple hours to go put it down a cliff. Now that tree was probably what, like 30 feet up or something like that. A cliff is going to have its own host of problems. It, it could also be 
like I could make it so that there's a it's riding up a line so there's a line under it and it's also riding up so it's being pulled down at the same time it's being pulled up I don't know I'd have to tinker around let me know if you got if you have some idea or something like that and maybe I'll try it out so that about wraps it up um, if you're new here like comment and subscribe to, that helps with the algorithm we have a discord join the community and I also sell merch if you like climbing clothes clothes that you that are about climbing that you like to wear I try to make clothes that I like to buy that related to climbing so go check that out in the links below and Josh Perry climbing out of here as always Whoop.